So we are back with another episode part for the very bulk or Oh there the you best. are. Well let's skip to the things we're here for, shall we? Yes. Start. The creature you found in the Devil's Pass is essentially an oversized leech, a bloodsucker of sorts. Its stomach acids prevent blood from coagulation. So it's like a living container? Precisely. Mm. Moreover, according to microscopic analysis, the blood within the leech is remarkably old. It's not only that, it isn't like anything we've ever seen. And Felicity feeds it to her familiars. Uh, gotta learn more about that sawmill and how it's all connected. And going into the sawmill. The McCallum sawmill was founded in 1845 by Elijah McCallum, the definition of a small town family operation. After Elijah's death two years ago, the mill was bought out by an investor representing the Andalusia Financial Services Group. Conglomerate of banks, oil fields, railways, you name it. What does a big fish like that want with a shitty little sawmill on the ass end of nowhere? It's unclear. The purchase itself was entirely above board. What about the forest? Old native ritual sites, burial mounds, anything? Nothing a note, no. Well, I guess I'll just have to figure this out on my own then. Thanks for your time, Dr. Blackwell. I, I live to serve, sir. I'll get back to my research now. It's foggy, and so we can uh, expect intense fighting. I have a bad feeling about this. Yes. Zapper's acting up. The glamour must be near. I don't know what that Holy is. shit. Chester did say something about the source of the glamour. That's, that's this must not. be it. The source. Disgusting than I even imagined. The glamour's probably secured by more of these ugly tumors. Need to take them out to destroy the illusion.
now believe there is another ancient beast we can use against our enemies. Its blood is more primitive. Okay, so she's hunting down beasts to send it after us. Bones, blood, and these ugly critters again. Getting weaker now. Probably there's one or maybe two sources more. And 
just spent thousands to take possession of this shithole, but it looks abandoned. This machinery hasn't been used for ages. Something's fishy here. I hear you waiting, creeps. My children, you were sick, weak, and poverty-stricken. Let's check this beauty out. That was the last source. Let's see what you're hiding there. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Smell doesn't bode well. Let's take a look, see. Christ is a goddamn blood factory.
way I'm going to knock these out
Not a living soul. She changed every last one of the workers here. Blood. Got a bad feeling about its source. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Didn't expect that in this damn jungle. by feasting on its blood. It's exactly how you described it. Ancient, unique, pure. This is the missing element that'll accelerate the change. Combined with my blood, we can...
what are you protecting? Damn, they're like locusts. traces I see. Now that's never a good sign. switch is covered with those damn leeches.
beast. Fucking great.
So this is where those beasts get their magical blood from. Once that ancient fella and Baxter was sucked dry, she found you, huh? Christ, I'm starting to hate mythology. Money. Anybody ever heard of a colossal monster with a forest growing on its back? Cause I got some samples. Mine. It's a Mikanak. In Huron Indian folklore, it's some kind of minor deity. It was covered head to toe in those damn leeches. That means we found yet another blood factory set up by Dubano and Felicity. That would explain why they attacked Baxter. They were protecting their source. The ancient blood they used to transform their familiars. Bad news is this Mikanak thing was supplying their war for quite some time now, allowing those foul bloods to spread all over the country. The good news is, it won't do it anymore. Help! Dr. Blackwell! Somebody! Mr. Rintigate! They can find your father! Hurry! Uh, Mr. Jesse! <laughs> Stand down, Davis. Father is burning. Step aside. Even if he doesn't kill us in our sleep, that link in his head will lead the ticks right to us. Then let them come. Killing ticks is what the Rentier Institute does. You listen to yourself? This isn't about your birthright. This is what happens when we run a government agency like a goddamn monarchy. All our protocols go out the window as soon as Daddy Dearest. Keep talking to me about the rules, you bureaucratic shrew. Please, we're all on the same team, remember? Only when it suits him. How about finally telling me where Edgar went? He's in Morapa, searching for the plant to make the regen compound. The regen compound? Now you're wasting what little resources we have left chasing a fairy tale? Listen, Listen, Mr. Gravener's an experienced agent. If he didn't have faith in his mission, he wouldn't bother. We are at war, Doctor. Who else is worth saving if not the leader of the Institute? And in the long run, it could help everybody if the thing by some miracle actually works. You have until tomorrow morning. In the meantime, your father will be restrained and placed under round-the-clock supervision. Fine. I'm gonna get Edgar's ass out of those swamps. And if I get back with that plant and I still see that shotgun in your hand, you better damn well prove you know how to use it. We're going to rescue Edgar Farmer Khan. You picked a strange time to assert yourself, Virgil. 
Why'd you back Jesse's quest for this ridiculous compound? Just because the scientists at the manor didn't find anything, doesn't mean there isn't something there. I mean, did they ever let you take a look? No. We have a habit at Calico of making the impossible okay, happen, Doctor. Start from this place. 